So as you guys already know, the King trailer dropped a few days ago, and uh, after like closely looking at it, it's becoming more and more clear to me that um, this guy might not be making it back to Tekken 8. But why, Majin? Why do you feel Armor King's not going to be back in Tekken 8? Well, let's start to look at it. But right away here, when King does the, uh, the new move at the start of the trailer, I couldn't help but notice, like, towards the end, there's a very, very, like, similar animation, and it's right here. You see the 4-4 neutral 2. You see this animation here? is very very similar to armor king's 44 neutral 2 yeah you see looks very similar right so um yeah i think that uh this reanimation is definitely way more similar to armor king's 44 neutral 2 than king's old one so uh um, as you can see here with king no, it's just not the same. It's just not the same. And they even sped it up. So, um, yeah, it looks like a totally new move for King. And super similar to Armor King. But, uh, yeah. Much, much better low, seemingly. Hopefully, he gets the same frames, you know, plus seven and all. And next here, we have King doing this Irish whip. You know, it's reanimated. Looks really nice. Throws Law right into the wall. He's stumbling, and right there, guys, another indication that Armor King might not be back. That's uh, that's definitely like a, a while standing one. See, but he does it from a running stance. See, King has never had a like a rising elbow, not like that. So this is definitely a Armor King move. Yeah, I didn't. I did not notice this the first time that I uh, reviewed the um, the King trailer because I was just too hyped. But um, yeah, that's just that's two things already in one trailer, right? So he has the wild standing one. So Armor King, you see, very very similar. As the elbow covers his face a little bit, even the recovery looks very very similar. Yeah. Very, very similar move, except that right there was used by the wall. I don't know if it's going to um, like launch on regular hit like Armor King's does, because he's not doing it from crouch in the first place. King is doing it from his new running um, stance or whatever it's called. Yeah, it hasn't been named yet, obviously. It's still too early, but um, yeah. King has the elbow launcher or combo extender at the wall after Irish whip. So yeah, Armor King, uh, it's not looking very good. So the other thing that um, is like quite apparent is the overuse of King doing Armor King's forward 2-1. Yeah, King's doing 4-2-1 multiple times in most of the footage that we've seen of King in Tekken 8. But right here, again, another forward 2-1. See, he's in heat, so he's able to heat dash, so. What are they going to do? You know, bring Armor King back and he has the same heat engager with forward 2-1? Yeah, things are um, not looking too good. Not looking too good at all. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you guys think that um, these forward 2-1s, like in probably every single King um, bit of footage, you guys think that's... Um, Kind of an indicator of Armor King not being back. Okay, so the next thing here is definitely this rage art. It's it's super similar to Armor King's. See he um he does a inverted fireman's carry. So it's like reverse. King has never had a reverse fireman's carry. It's always like the regular one where he picks you up over his shoulders and your stomach is on his um shoulders, but now it's your back. And of course, Armor King has the burning hammer grab. Okay, so you see this start up here. Okay, so again, you see he has it like inverted right before he does the burning hammer. King is doing this in his rage art. Now, you guys, you just, this is probably like a little nitpick or something, or you might even call it a reach, but yeah. 
he has King up over his shoulders. His back is on his shoulders, just like King is with you know Paul here in the in the uh, Rage art for Tekken Eight. So um, yeah, that's that's just one thing. So yeah, yeah, you see, this is King like for the first time ever, like with any grab having the opponent on their back like that, on his shoulders. So that's just one thing. But here is where it gets similar to Armor King and his Rage art. He spins them and throws them really high. Just like Armor King. He throws them. And of course he jumps up and does some spinning move to uh, finish the Rage art. And King, you know, does the same thing. So yeah, you see he, he grabs him, you know, first time ever having him on his back like that and throws him up high just like Armor King's Rage Yard in Tekken 7. Jumps up and catches him, does a few twirls in the air, couple spins and impactful landing. Totally different landing. Now this is the, um, the old Tekken 2 octopus stretch. So yeah, different ending, different startup of course, but uh, similar to the, like the, the burning hammer. And here is the last tidbit. And one of the most important I feel is the three plus four into the one. Okay, so yeah, this here is, um this is pretty huge. <laughs> yeah, let's see this here is um I don't know I don't know guys. Yeah this this could be a um very telltale sign that Armor King is not going to return. So if you guys remember like with Tekken 7 even King got quite a few of Armor King's moves, right? He had forward two one for the first time ever. And he had Armor King's down three. And um, yeah, people just didn't think Armor King was gonna make it back because King had those moves. And that was just two moves. <laughs> that was just two moves. Now we see he has Armor King's um, 4 2 1 steal, and they, they emphasize that multiple times in Tekken 8 footage of King. He has 4 4 Neutral 2 reanimated to look a lot more like Armor King's. Yeah, it looks very similar to this now. Don't know if it's the exact animation, but yeah, like how the knees are placed, it looks very, very similar. Um, the, the rage art that King has, he, he starts off with the opponent back on his shoulders, similar to Armor King's burning hammer. Like I said, that could be a reach. That could be a reach, but um, still it's something, you know, definitely something you have to pay attention. And um, definitely like the, the three plus four into the the body splash here, huge. And that's his win pose. Yeah, see Tekken 7 King didn't get Armor King's win poses like that. No, no, he didn't. He just had the, the forward two one. He had the down three. And that was, that was pretty much it. You know, he didn't get so many moves you know like Tekken 80 he has this rising elbow here but it's from a running stance so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments uh is it a reach to say that armor king won't be on Tekken 8 I mean he could very well be a DLC character again but I just feel that this time um there's just a lot more that they gave king of armor kings in Tekken 8 and them like emphasizing those forward two ones and um, having a similar to Armor King Rage Art. Very similar, you know. Throwing them up super high, and jumping up, spinning, and, and landing. Yeah, super similar. But again, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, is Armor King gonna come back? I hope he does. I would like to see what they do to Armor King in Tekken 8. How they uh, make him have more personality and, and flair like they have for King. And obviously like the design that would be dope but yeah hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe again um 
you know, shout outs to everyone getting the channel to 200,000 subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. I'm going to, um, like, continue covering Tekken 8 footage and trailers. We might get one tomorrow. Who knows? It might be Lars. But it could be Jack. But anyways, um, you guys, uh, thanks for the support. And let me know in the comments what you think. I'll see you at the next video. Take care.